I'm going to talk about technology again. I'm so excited. So I recently told you about our setup. So the equipment that we use, as well as the core editing software that we use, which is Descript. You can get it from Descript.com. It's really inexpensive, but it does the transcript as, and you can edit the transcript. At the same time, you can also edit your audio and your video. It's how we create all of our clips and uh, edit down our podcast before we're done with it's really the raw version uh, when it comes out of there. So I just want to talk about a few of the other software tools that we use and how we use them. So I'm not going to go into all of them. I'm totally a technology geek. If you go to Next Step Nation and listen to my interview with Josh Tapp, in fact, if you can listen to any recording of me talking to Josh Tapp, you'll hear us geek out about technology and the different software that we use. So I'm always looking for something easier and better. If my client asks me, well, can't we just do this with the software? And I feel like the software should do that. Usually I'm looking up a new software. So I am slow to switch and make everyone else switch, but I am quick to test. So I'll tell you a few of the finds that we use, and I will be sure to include the links to them. And I we do use some affiliate links. Some of my favorites don't even have affiliate links, but I can assure you that if I'm recommending them, I'm doing so with full confidence that um, number one, you're going to get the same experience that I had. Uh, I will tell you that no technology is perfect, but these are the best that I've found so far. So again, Descript is what we use for our core content. From there, we also use a process street. So all of our processes that we build, we do so in process street. Now, having said that, we are now joining a uh, simply SOP, which is through outsource schools. So I will include a link to that. They're really good. If you want do it yourself, getting on other people's shows. Uh, so we use that as well, but most of our processes go through process street, highly recommend it. Very customizable, very straightforward. Uh, there's a lot of fancier ones out there, but because it's not just me, like I can use anything I can use, you know, complicated and I can use simple, but in the, in the case of having, processes and workflows or what we call SLPs, standard operating procedures, I, I'm not only selecting for myself, I'm selecting for my clients and not everybody wants these fancy things. They just want something that works. And when we're doing processes, it's not only my clients, but it's their VAs. So I really need something straightforward and simple that anyone can use. And I don't worry about um, it freaking them out. So process street, love it. Then when it comes to calendars, we always use um, we use uh, Google calendars to manage our calendars because it integrates with the highest number of other services. So, so we always use that. Whether or not I like them more, I don't care. It works with the most things. I'm able to do them more. I have freedom. So I will buy freedom and, you know, Google calendars free and that's what we use. The other thing that we use a lot, um, I do a lot of my planning through Trello. You oftentimes won't see it in use when it comes to the things that I'm working on, but I like it because it's really visual. And if I'm planning a project, I'll usually lay out the pieces in that. So I'll use it and then I put it away for a long time. <laughs> so there's that. And uh, we use Asana a little bit because it's what um, our, we use Level 9 Virtual to do it's a VA company and they do all of our graphic design, not all of them, but they do most of our graphic design, video editing, um, and like posting on WordPress or posting on high level. Um, and I'll tell you about high level here in a minute, but um, they do just a lot of those tasks when it comes to production and distribution beyond what our certified virtual production assistants do, our CVPAs do. So level nine virtual, that they're not a technology, but they are amazing and we're able to get a lot done through them, but they use Asana. I wouldn't use Asana if they didn't use it, but we technically do use it since um, since they use it. So, uh, and then also um, we use, um, now we use high level when it comes to advanced CRM. So when I say that, I don't mean advanced, like complicated. Well, it is complicated unless you have someone set it up for you, but we set it up for our clients and call it my pod blast. So if you have my pod blast, you actually have high level, but we, we set up a lot of it so that it isn't as complicated, but with high level, we have landing pages, thank you pages, websites, embedded videos, forms, surveys, email campaigns, 
you know, uh, texting. So you can do automated SMSs, email uh, sequences, so our campaigns. So one of the things that we do is what we call our white glove strategic guesting. And that's where we prospect and follow up with our guests. And all of that is run through uh, my pod blast, which is set up on high level. So if we didn't have high level, what I had before high level is I had active campaign, um, a pointlet. I, I love a pointlet. I know everybody loves Calendly, but I love a pointlet. Uh, and it's just so customizable. Um, and then uh, I also use Typeform when it comes to forums. Um, we used uh, slick text for texting. Again, all those are replaced by a high level. Um, and then we also had Kartra for the uh, for the checkouts and the you know all those landing pages and the thank you pages and the opt ins. Again, it's moved over to high level. So if you have any questions about any of the tools that I just mentioned, be sure to let me know. If you have questions about other tools and other things that we use in the different areas, uh, please do let me know. I'm gonna create another video for you where we go through more of the editing process and what we use to create finished finished audio and finished video. Happy podcasting.